Hello Greensburg, today is Tuesday, November 10th. Tomorrow is Veterans Day and today our show is dedicated to the troops at home and overseas fighting for our freedom. There are more than a few of our fellow students who are planning to, or already are, sworn into the armed forces. Chelsea and Holly interviewed some future soldiers and those in active duty. Uh, my grandfather was a United States Marine. He was a corporal in the Marine Corps and he always told me stories of when he was in Korea. So uh, from him I always wanted to be a Marine because of him. I always looked up to him and he was my role model. So My brother served in the Navy. I want to follow in his footsteps. Uh, I would also like to serve in the Marine Corps and I would like to get a higher rank than my grandfather. The Army? No, I do not know anybody in the military as of yet, and I do not mentor anybody. Uh, my recruiter, Franc Sergeant Francis Manning. I would like to serve my whole life in the military, if possible. Uh, it all depends on what I'm feeling, probably like my whole life, military career. How do I feel about battle? Uh, I would definitely go to battle if I had to. If I do end up leaving the military, I am going to go to college or a university for engineering or something in the mathematical field. Uh, if I do leave the military, I'll take the education I got there and try to find a good job. Not as of right now, but there are programs that I plan on participating in. Uh, every Thursday I get a future soldier training with my recruiter. The movies, I think, are good because they are actually accurate and they're based off of facts. But Call of Duty and other games like it, Battlefield and all those other dumb video games, they're just fake. and. It's kind of sad how some people look up to those video games and uh, they think that the video games are like real life, but they're not. They're just video games. You can't respawn in real life. You, When you die, you die. You can't take like 80,000 bullets to the chest and then just run up to a guy and like knife him <laughs> or whatever. You can't do that. Uh, well, Call of Duty is just like the fun way to do war, but uh, American Sniper, um, I never heard the other movies, but American Sniper seems to be pretty serious, so it's not a joke. <laughs> My daily life, I'm an aircraft mechanic, I'm a communications and navigation specialist, so I work on basically the ears, the eyes, and the mouth of the plane. I serve in the United States Marine Corps. Uh, going to school for my senior year and attending drill once or twice a month. No regrets. Not one bit. Uh, my two cousins, Kathy and Lewis, they both served. Uh, one's in the Air Force and the other one's in the Army, and they still serve today. They're my biggest influence. You know, just like my love for the country. Uh, my father. Uh, my expectations were different, but I felt like it was... I knew what I was going into, but things weren't the same as I thought. Definitely not. You hear stories all the time about, like, from people who have already been in that talk about how hard it was and how painful it was at times, and now it's not as difficult as people say that it was. After basic training, my tech school, which was a 24-week course, was Electronic Principles and Communications and Navigation. That was the schooling that eventually led to me learning how to do my job, and then after that, I'm going to finish up my tour here at home and I'm going to go to school for electrical engineering. Well, I plan on like actually finishing college this time with using like the GI Bill. Um, I do plan to go to college to go through criminal justice and they will pay it depending on what school I go to. My favorite military memory was definitely graduating basic training after fighting with set, or 50 people in a dormitory for seven and a half weeks, you know, fought together, learned together, slept together. It was definitely a proud moment whenever we all graduated together and got our airmen's coin. Um, besides the fact that every time we go to drill, like, we have fun. Um, one story that I could definitely tell was last month when we did land navigation and we had to plot our own grid points and we had to go into the woods behind the armory and find our way to each grid point on the trees. And I remember all of us coming back with scratches and scars and cuts and bruises and <laughs> blood pouring out of our skin. That was definitely pretty fun. I feel like Call of Duty just like glorifies combat and like a lot of kids join the infantry just because they want it to be just like that. I really don't have an opinion on them. I mean, they're fun, I play them, but 
Uh, some people find them offensive, and I just think they're just a game. Um, I think American Sniper shows like what it's actually like. You know, like people come back and they're a little bit messed up a little bit. And I think like the, those movies are pretty good with it, but I don't, I don't think Call of Duty is like not really like good. Advanced in technology, they're extremely awesome. I mean, they're fun to learn, and they're even more fun to actually put to the test and see how they work, and then learning how they work is even cooler. Um, I have one coin that my recruiter gave me when I first enlisted, and I can get more as I go along in my career. I, my senior year of high school, I signed up. I went down to the recruiter's office, and I signed the papers. No, I wouldn't change anything. I, uh, like. I feel like if not me, then who? And I feel like somebody's gonna have to do it, so why not? It be me. The work that we do, I mean, we're young kids. Some people are making money for the first time. Somebody, some of these kids never even had jobs before. And in, in the active duty life, like you have housing and food taken care of, and they're still making good money, enough to have fun and save up for retirement. Definitely look into it. I mean, I would go back and I would look at my job again, knowing what there is. I think you have to remember, remember that do you want to be the guy living in the dirt or do you want to be the guy living up in hotels and doing the easy work? But I mean, all the missions are the same. You know, you're helping the same people, but you just have to know. Another thing to look at is what do you want to do on the outside after the military? I mean, you have to know that some jobs apply better to others in the civilian world. The definition of a patriot is someone who vigorously supports their country and is prepared to defend it against enemies or detractors. The U.S. military are the sword and the shield that are always protecting our country and other countries from danger by fighting off people who need to be stopped and protecting countries that need our help. Just know that they are heroes and true patriots for the sacrifices they have made for the well-being of our great country. And don't forget that Veterans Day is a day dedicated to honoring the veterans. So if you come across someone that served in the military, thank them. We would like to take a moment of silence for those soldiers who are overseas fighting for our freedom. Traffic bumper to bumper I zip my head on the steering wheel The worst is over, I know But headed back to Toronto Every heart wasn't part of the deal As my conviction fades away